Welcome to the introduction and how to on Action Patterns Plus. Action Patterns Plus is a new module for Manitou Central stations. Action Patterns Plus allows Manitou users the ability to perform actions from an action pattern after the alarm has been closed. Operators will not need to handle these alarms any differently. Primarily, this is used to send notification emails. Previously, it was possible at the end of an action pattern to have email contacts as part of an action pattern, but it still required the operator to initiate the email. They would have had to click the contact by email item in the action pattern, or they would have had to defer to the auto client. Action Patterns Plus is a module and will need to be licensed on your Manitou system. For this example, we will assume a scenario where a customer requested to be notified and sent an alarm detail report for all Berg alarms. Note, notifications are sent through email. The individual needing to be contacted will need to have an email set up in their account. We will first start by creating an action pattern. As you can see, I have my account already opened, and I'm going to come over here to Action Patterns in the Jump To menu. Make sure I'm in Edit Mode, and select Add. I'm going to start down here on the second line and give my action ID a name. So this can be whatever you prefer. I'm just going to title mine report and give it a brief description. The category can stay at default and select OK. So now our command we're going to keep at contact because we first need to notify the customer. So make sure your contact down here has an email, click on the email, and then add command. You're going to need to indicate the script used for the email. So in the drop down here, I've already created an email script in Supervisor Workstation titled email. So I'll select it and then say OK. So now we have contact customer contact name at email and then it gives the email address with script email. Next, we will need to change our command to report. So in the drop down, I'm going to come down here and select report and then select the email for it to be sent to and say add command as well. So now we have send contact report to customer contact name at the email and the email address. Note, the order of actions in the action pattern can be simply rearranged by highlighting the action and using the up and down arrows. So now I need to save our new action pattern. Once your action pattern has been saved, we're going to jump over here to Systems and select Programming. As you can see now, the bottom half of the programming screen is now split into two parts. The right side is where all of the action patterns plus behaviors are established. I'm going to come up here to Edit, and we're going to add a new line. So the event is that BA, so I need to come down here and select my BA, and you can scroll down or you can type it in. The zone, we're going to want to just keep it at any zone, and then select that action pattern that we just created. So right here we have that report Berg that we just created, and now we just need to simply save. So now the system knows that after a burglary alarm comes through, it needs to then use our post-processing program here to, to send out that report. You can test this by sending in a manual signal. It is also possible to use Action Patterns Plus at the dealer level. For example, a dealer wants to be notified any time there is a fire alarm for any of their customers. Note, notifications are sent as email. The individual needing to be contacted will have to have an email address set up on their account. I'm going to come over here and open up my dealer, and then we need to add a dealer level action pattern. So come back over here to the action patterns, make sure I'm in edit mode, and select add, and give it an action ID. So for this one, I'm going to call it fire1. And again, a brief description, and then OK. So again, we're going to keep our command at contact, and I'm going to select the individual that needs to be contacted by their email, and do add command, 
Again, I need to select the script that's going to be used, so email, and say OK. And again, we should have contact dealer technician, technician's name, at email, and it gives that email address with script email. So once that is set up, all we have to do is save. And now we just need to go over to the programming screen. So again, in the jump to menu, select programming. Make sure you're in edit mode. So again, over on the post processing side, I'm going to highlight the event category and do my drop down and select the fire. And then that action ID that we just created. So that fire one. And again, save. Now the dealer will get notifications after a fire alarm has been closed by any of their customers. One thing I wanted to highlight was the close command. So if I come back over here to my action patterns, you will notice we didn't have to do a close command because again, this happens after the alarm has already been closed. Note, not all action pattern commands are executed in post-processing events. Only items that are 100% system handled such as contact by email or text messaging, log, or report will run in post-processing. All other items will be ignored by Manitou. Another notification option would be an open close. You would again uh, create an action pattern and then you'd come in here to the programming here in the post-processing side as well and do that open close option. This sums up the Action Patterns Plus tutorial. For more information, please contact your account executive today at sales at boldgroup.com.